It's July 3rd, 2022. I normally, I'm really careful, like, and I don't see this mention of UFO, those three letters, a lot in the local news media. And tonight, I did not see it on any of the, like, stations, like, two or, or seven, those stations. Um, but on June 30th, 2023, um, I caught the morning News Nation. Um, I just happened to tape it. It's like one of those weird, I call it an extra, extra, extraterrestrial clock timing, but, um, and it just so happened to have like a UFO piece on. So I was kind of curious, like what's their trendy way of saying it? Because um, they don't show it often, but when they do, I sit here in my quiet and I watch. Um, so this actually, I was I was just curious to hear how they they pose this and this phenomenon thing that they don't um, mention a lot. But when it is mentioned, I know that there's like a big backing of it, but I don't know who or what. Um, I again, I I've heard certain things excite certain or speak to certain people like spiritually i i've heard that before so i was just curious how they were positioning this ufo piece and out of this world says uh, it's friday hi i can read a teleprompter and out of this world festival is taking place in roswell new mexico this weekend let's do a do-over a city known for ufos and of course there's been some renewed interest in the past few weeks uh Actually, News Nation had that exclusive interview with the Pentagon whistleblower, and that added to the party. Nancy Liu takes us there. This is the highlight of the year here in Roswell. The annual UFO festival will mean millions of dollars in revenue from thousands of visitors, and many of the humans invading Roswell this weekend are believers. We want to make sure that they know who's cyber on, so... So that explains it. So you come in peace. Yeah, we come in peace. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. This year, the usual fun of Roswell's UFO festival seems to include far more believers than ever. I really do believe that these aliens can actually live up in the skies, and I do believe that they do come down. UFO Festival 2023 includes new topics for serious discussions of UFOs and aliens, all in the wake of claims by Pentagon whistleblower Dave Grush who told News Nation exclusively of secret government retrieval programs. Uh, these are retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles, you know, call it spacecraft if you will, non-human, exotic origin vehicles that have either landed or crashed. For decades, Roswell has been an epicenter for so-called UFOologists, a community that has grown since the 1947 Roswell incident. That crash of what was said to be a high altitude military balloon sparked conspiracy theories due to evolving government explanations. Hoaxes and additional sightings and claims have added to the mystery. When you have somebody like a whistleblower that says, hey, this did happen, this is this is the story, this is the evidence, I think it just excites more people that are true believers or people who maybe were skeptics before then now they have some validation. With congressional UFO hearings now set to happen, there is new optimism for explanations and answers, especially since Senator Marco Rubio told News Nation that whistleblower Dave Grush is not alone. I will say there are people that have come forward to share information with our committee over the last couple of years. I would imagine some of them are potentially some of the same people that perhaps he's referring to. I want to be very protective of these people. A lot of these people came to us even before these protections were in the law for whistleblowers to come forward. There has to be something out there other than just us. Organizers say every report and alleged encounter always brings increased interest in Roswell and the UFO festival, and that includes the recent alleged alien encounter in Las Vegas. Yeah, Nancy Liu, thanks for covering that for us. A lot of skeptics, as well as a lot of believers. More news for All America coming up. Again, I like to hear um, that there's special protections for what they refer to as whistleblowers, which I really don't necessarily know what that means. Um, and so... Um, 
that's important. Um, I had mentioned uh, again there there have been some sightings. I had a sighting today as well um, in the local neighborhood. Again, I'm wearing the um, the GPS thing on the wrist. It's a Fitbit, but it's technology, so technically in technology land. I don't know how they qualify or, or use it, so whatever and whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, but I crossed paths with um, something. Um, see, I mean, like, most of my day, I just, I'm not looking for stuff. I just, you know, I mean, I can't help. It's. It's like living on an alien planet almost in New York. There's just such a plethora and variety of sounds and looks that it is really very difficult at this stage of my life. And even when I first arrived, um, of how, um, like again, one set of relatives used to have National Geographic magazines and you could see indigenous elsewhere. That was very helpful kind of sort of in a not really way of, of just being somewhat conscious of what the familial house on both mom's side, dad's side, uh, what was going on at school and then what was in publication that exists somewhere outside of our reality. Um, so that awakeness we had. Um, but now there seems to be, and again, is it just like a once in a while passing through? But there's really no sights necessarily to see in Bayside unless there's some home baseball team thing for Queens or whatever. So that's why it's sometimes, or are they just checking in on other populations? Because, I mean, in Queens now it's gotten very difficult and with how they district things and who's moving where so freely. Um, I mean, I think it poses a security concern, but I don't know who and where to voice that to. Um, but I have seen some very non-traditional Western clothing options um, on the streets of Bayside. more often than seems necessary um in like it's i don't live in an area where it's like an american market like you know like sightsee kind of a thing so um it no like craft i mean like again the bid does whatever the bid does but um it's an interesting dilemma, especially looking to see how um, my father's trip outside and then coming back and just how storybook and fairy tale like um, it appeared still, uh, even as an adult, I think that those words very, you know, non-confrontational um so um yeah so that's the ufo piece that they put on um just recently but again just these little snippets of uh information um i i don't know where or how to keep up to date like what the source on these things are except i just happened to catch it um if, and it said morning in America and it was news nation, the same channel that Cuomo is now on. Um, it's star one, nine, seven, eight, star eight, three, seven, eight, Nicole Ketteruz, it's earth 
solar system, Milky Way universe, galaxy is broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.